We have seen Cosmos, Solana, Tia, and all those airdrop, but I think that a lot of people are not talking about the Binance airdrop, that all the projects backed by Binance will, of course, be listed on Binance as it is their baby. So today, I want to go and focus on three projects. There's going to be two free ones and one where we have to go and lend and borrow and do transaction with BNB. So if you have BNB, stick until the end. But we jump straight onto the laptop over here and we talk about Mind Network. Now, this one is the easiest one and it is super simple. You will need Cephalia Ethereum. To earn Cephalia Ethereum, the link is down below. This is the page that showcases you. You simply go here, click I am not a robot, go and add your MetaMask, paste your MetaMask wallet and you will receive, as you see here, a transaction with half of an Ethereum every day you can go and earn it. So this is the first thing to go and earn this full Ethereum to come then here and do all of the transaction. We got the overview page, the third address you can add manually, uh, click to add manually the third address by inputting the corresponding transaction hash, which you can do, or simply download number of networks, download, click to download, invitational link. If you want to join, the link is down below the first link, of course. But we're going to go and focus on the transfer. Now, for this one, it is very, very simple and you will have to need two MetaMask wallet address. How do you do it? Simply go on the MetaMask over here, click on account one, add an account or a hardware wallet. As you see, I've got two. So we're going to go and click on the second one for this one. We're going to go and copy this MetaMask address and we go back to the first one. So these are two different MetaMask address. And let me know down in the comments if you like free airdrops or if you do like uh, the paid one, which one do you prefer? And what do you think about the Binance chain down in the comments? But back here, we go and simply paste this and we're going to go and send our token. We're going to go and send 0 0.1 over here. The current address is not registered in the My Network for stealth transfer. Please share the link to invite. So you need to go and register with my link to be able to do this and you can send it to, to my wallet as well we're gonna go and share the invite complete the invitation and then it is gonna happen if this is a problem that you have by the way let me know or come to my telegram for the addresses that you can send tokens to etc you will find mine here so you can send some efolia this is all free by the way you're not sending me money this is all free tokens that they are worth zero dollars whatsoever my wallet address for you to send some is gonna be down below and simply send a token to me, which I am registered. Once you are registered, you can send token, as we see here, to a registered account. So if you register with my code, you are able to send me some Cephal Ethereum and it is nobody losing any money. But for this purpose, I can go and showcase you with sending from mine to mine, which is what you got to do. So here you put your address here, then you put mine, which you find down below, which is this one. And you go and send transfer the token, simply wait for it. Go and confirm after you go and evaluate everything that there is. Confirm, send, and that is it. So super, super simple. Confirm the transaction and the transaction is happening. So by doing the transaction, which helps you to have an address to send it to, send it to mine down below, you will simply go and do this transaction. And this is all there is to do. So this is the easiest of the three as it is super, super easy. And once you've done this, go and repeat it once every X amount of days, come and get this Ethereum, the Ethereum on the Cephalia faucet, which is free to earn and simply do it once, two, twice, three times, etc. Next up, we're going to go and look at this one Saturn testnet. There is a dedicated video over on my channel as well. So if you do want to have more sophisticated details on it, go and watch that. But in a brief, I will tell you all the steps that you need to do to go and earn the airdrop. First of all, we come over here. The links are down below in the order that we're looking at. We have the add to MetaMask. So add this to MetaMask. Then we go to the Cephalia Ethereum address. We claim some Ethereum Cephalia. If you have already claimed the Ethereum Cephalia today, maybe for the mine network before, you are going to be able to only claim half a day. So come back tomorrow or utilize the one that you use as of right now. Next up, we're going to go and need this one Saturn testnet token. And how to do this? Well, we're going to go over on their Discord, which is down below. And over here, go and write... Uh, thank you, Crypto with Lorenzo, if you want to support a little bit on the community chat. But down here on this one testnet, you will be able to find this one faucet. Click on it. And on the code over here, you're able to see that I've done it already and I received the tokens. What you have to do is to click, is to simply type swan, uh, sorry, dollar sign, swan underscore faucet, and then put a space and copy and paste your MetaMask address with this one. Once you send the message, you can send one every six hours, as you see, you will receive this message, claim 51 to your token address, etc. You will receive it shortly. So give it 
one or two minutes because it is need to process the message from Discord all the way to the testnet. Once we've done that, we are going to come to the bridge swan chain over here. Now, over here, we're going to deposit token from the Cefolia testnet all the way to the swan testnet, which, by the way, give it a little bit of time because it is on a testnet and it does need time to go and process and do everything. So simply go here, click the amount that you want to send, click on deposit. You will be able to open the MetaMask, confirm the transaction. As we see here, it is on the Cefolia testnet. So free to use, confirm the transaction, and this is done. What do we have to do next? We need to go and send our SWAN token, which we received from the Discord transactions, over to our wallet or to another wallet. And here comes, again, the second MetaMask wallet that could be useful for certain period or certain transactions. We go over here to the SWAN Saturn testnet, which you find in your wallet by now, as we have added it over here from the chain list. We're going to go and simply send our self token. So this one over here, we can click on send and you can send to either of your account. For this purpose, we will use our secondary account and simply send 0 0.05 over here. Click on next, accept the transaction all on a free testnet. So do not worry about it. And we have sent the transaction. So we also are doing this transaction over here. For this one, it is confirmed, it is finalized in a matter of seconds. You see here, the wallet balance has gone down and we sent it to the other wallet. And we can do this one or two, three times, or just come back every two to three days, every week. So you have a longevity in the transaction history for the token. The next app, which as of right now, it is in maintenance, but you can deploy a contract. If you go to third web underneath, you will be redirected to this one. Go over here to the contracts page, deploy on the top left deploy contract over here simply click on a deploy contract token over here we're going to deploy a token if it allows you to do it deploy now and simply go and put anything that you want over here upload a picture we can upload our thumbnail for one of the recent videos and simply go and select one saturn testnet it could happen that you did not receive the ethereum funds as of right now which we did breach before and it is an internal message. So simply come back later on for importing the funds and having sufficient funds. It is not extremely important. It is simply to give you another way of interacting with the protocol. And after that, you have a video on my channel, which is called the uh, how to complete or how to deploy any contract with, for any airdrop. Make sure to go and check that one out. And next up, we have some Galt's quests for this one, which are super easy. And it is to follow them on Twitter, quote, like, etc. Super easy, which I'm going to go and complete in just a second. But very, very simple. You get a queue out. And there are 350,000 tokens to be shared for only 20,000 participants. So the less there are, the more rewards you get. So make sure to go and do it as soon as possible. And it is very important that you go and get them because there are a lot of the rewards for not so many people, which, you know, makes you a bit more money. But these are the two free ones. Now we're going to go and look at the more, uh, at the not free one. And of course, I am no financial advisor, no expert, no nothing. This is just my technique on going to earn this token, which as of right now, I just showcased to you because I didn't lose the funds by doing this. And it is Kinza Finance. You will find it down below. And you can come and join my community. We are 304 of us that have gone down and uh, claimed, you know, have gone and claimed this to with this technique. And what do I do with it? Well, I go and lend my BNB token, which I do have for the long-term investment. I lend the BNB token over here. And with this one, I go and borrow some SLIS BNB. This one, why? Well, because it's like going with USDT to USDC. The price of SLIS BNB is going to go up if BNB goes up, and it's going to go down if BNB goes down. Theoretically, they are pegged together or better. SLIS is pegged to BNB. So the price action should be the same. If you go and do BNB with, I don't know, for example, Ethereum or Wrap Bitcoin or LIS USDT, it could be that you know, it is a little bit risky in terms of what you can do. As you see here, I have a possibility of assets to borrow. I have uh, lended $2,000 and borrowed only 899. I could lend or I could borrow even more BNB as we see here. For example, I could borrow everything, but the price, the health factor is going to go down. If I do borrow more, yes, I will receive, you know, a better airdrop allocation in terms of points. I can scale the ranks faster. Yes, I could do that, but it's 
either you want to go and risk it all for all or keep it a little bit more quiet. And for me, as we see from the dashboard, I have the possibility to borrow more, yes, but I'm not going to do it because I want to keep my health factor up and I want to give some space between the BNB and the SLIS BNB to go up and down a little bit and not have to worry about being liquidated because I could lose all of this money if there are some crazy changes. But this is just my technique and this is just what I do that I want to go and share it with you. And with that said, you know, I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure to go and leave a like, subscribe to the channel down below, turn the notification bell on. And I, if you want to join on Bybit, I do have an affiliate link down in the comments below in the description. Thank you for joining and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, guys.